could not believe when I saw this doll at my in-laws house. And we let my, my, my mother-in-law look after our three-year-old daughter. This is the toy she gives her. And I gotta tell you, it actually creepily resembles a friend of ours in Vancouver as well. Um, anyway, um, when my daughter was uh, quite young, um, I got into this like, routine of um, just kind of getting her to bed, reading stories, brushing teeth, wait till she was asleep so I could score my you know, hour and a half or two hours before I had to go to bed. And I realized I wasn't really being all that mindful of, like, I mean, this was it. I mean, this was the stuff that I needed to enjoy. Um, and then eat my face off at barbecue competitions. Um, actually, I forgot to mention, this is the, basically the last 20 slides or images from my uh, Instagram feed. So speaking of, of mindfulness, you kind of put those things up really quickly and then you kind of forget about them. Well, I'm reliving more closely now my last month or so. Um, these are absolutely perfectly poached to 62 degrees uh, eggs for 45 minutes by Riyup Barbecue um, on a um, competition barbecue chicken burger made with, a turkey burger made with their own bacon. I, I'm a barbecue judge and uh, this was the last competition I went to. One of the competitors had this case and the first thing I actually thought of when I saw this thing was it reminded me of those chemistry lab kits with the little mi the microscope that you get when you're a kid and all the chemicals that you're not supposed to mix together weirdly. Um, as a parent, that will never happen in my household again. Anyway, it was anal and it was cool. Um, we do a lot of uh, brand um, sessions and workshops with clients, and one of the first things that we do when we get there is we dump a giant box of toys from the dollar store on the table. Um, we find that clients basically a lot of times are afraid of these things and afraid of tapping that inner child, but uh, it helps break open a lot of really interesting things if they do actually reach across the table for those things. Napa Valley, no, not Napa, God, th this is the Okanagan, and you know, it's, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous place that usually people go to in the summer, but we were there in October for our um, first ever wine client that we're going to be designing some, some labels for, and it's uh, one of the things that Mark and I, my business partner who spoke here before, have always wanted to do, and we got a chance to go do a little fact-finding mission, and uh, of course they had to drink some wine. And uh, there's some really fabulous, fabulous wineries up there. And it was an amazing break um, for us to go do that. Um, this is my daughter. Um, when she was born, I thought, oh, man, i got to buy one of those big fucking cameras with the lenses and start taking all these amazing pictures of her. And we borrowed one, totally didn't use it. 99.9% .9 of the photos that I take now are from my iPhone. And uh, I have a blast. She's my muse in, in the photography world now, and it's it's almost kind of annoying. I, it's, it's weird that there aren't even more pictures of her in this thing. Hundred Foot Journey, the last book I read. Uh, it's about a, uh, a very unlikely situation about an Indian boy who uh, goes from India to the weirdest place in Switzerland and ends up having a, a, a brilliant career as the top chef in London. Fiction, but excellent. It was described as. Uh, uh, Ratatouille meets Slumdog Millionaire. <laughs> Mark talked about interesting Vancouver. I got actually a bottle of beer pulled out of a bag by Dave Shea, a buddy of ours, who brewed blackberry beer from foraged blackberries in Vancouver. And it uh, popped open in the parking lot by accident. And I had to taste it before I drove home. <laughs> uh, my daughter's first uh, real salon haircut. Um, she wasn't really too happy about it for some reason. She was in a weird mood, but uh, I managed to catch the picture. Get on the iPhone. I spend a lot of time kind of playing around with them, making them look really cool. Um, Vendors and Gardens, they're a client of ours, and they invited us to the absolutely most anticipated uh, opening of this brand new building done by Peter Busby and Associates Architecture. Um, really cool, cool building. It's, it's like, I don't know, gold, like, you know, lead, lead like unobtainium or something. I don't know, it's like insane. Um, literally, it's heated by the sewer water methane underneath the water there. Speaking of Calgary, Dave, have you been here? Gauchos, we had a designer, a young designer come to our office from Brazil, lived in Calgary, sitting in our office trying to get a job, talking about food. Gauchos, best barbecue Brazilian place in outside of Brazil, he says. It was. Um, Calgary is not all like shredded wood on the sides of houses. Uh, in fact, this is the other side of Calgary. Um, 
incredible wealth. Like cars and, and cash like you wouldn't believe. Uh, oddly, okay, these, these things are, you guys know what these are. It's in this neighborhood, Portuguese um, uh, egg custard tarts. I don't know what it is about these things. They take me right back, egg custard sugar, I, I have a weakness for these things, and it's, it's, everyone has these sensory things that kind of run through them. Um, if I have, like, you know, if I'm here, I'm leaving tonight, thank God, because if I was here for another, like, week, I'd look like that. This this is uh, in the Drake. Um, kind of reminded me of, like, a dead person floating in the air, and I don't know, just uh, shot it, and I don't know. Yeah, I could probably come up with a cool story for it, but that's about it. Um, the first thing that we did after we got a cab to this neighborhood was sit down at Pizzeria um, Libretto and had uh, Neapolitan like, pizza that, in fact, Vancouver has only recently in the last sort of 10 months seen an, an explosion of excellent pizza like this, but we would have had to come here for it in the past. Um, across the street from where we're staying, beautiful coffee shop. Uh, just really fantastic coffees. Um, struck me this morning, actually, I was, I was sitting there, it was very, very peaceful, like, just, like, there's very little of that sort of raging <laughs> noise from the steam and all that stuff, it was great. Um, one day, I just, I was with my daughter, and we hit the uh, skateboard bowl, we were the only people there, I had her on her Strider bike, and I was pushing her around up and down the hills in the bowl, and this thing was written in there, be who you are, and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. From Dr. Seuss, I thought that was a brilliant thing for there to be in that bowl, and also what a great thing to say to you guys, because this is the thing, like, just get up here and do something. Talk.